Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the Group Expert to create groupings within your report by which you can view subtotals and sort the report data. For example, let's assume that you were requested to create a report that shows employee sales with totals by employee. Oftentimes when you state the purpose of the report, you'll notice that you wish to see the data by the value in some field. The word by is often an indication of by which field you'll want to create the groups in your report. When you create groups based on the value of a field, Crystal Reports will group together all of the exact same values found within the selected field. You can then perform additional calculations over the established groups, like sum the value of an amount sold field for each unique grouping of values in an employee ID field. Grouping by data fields makes these types of summary calculations possible. In Crystal Reports, you can use the Group Expert dialog box to create the groupings necessary for your report and set any additional options you may wish. You can launch the Group Expert dialog box by either clicking the Group Expert button in the Experts toolbar or by choosing Report from the menu bar and then choosing Group Expert. In the Group Expert dialog box, you can click on the name of the field by which you want to create the first group in the available fields list. Then click the single right pointing arrow to move the selected field over into the Group By list. You can then click on another field in the available fields list, and then click the right pointing arrow again to move it into the Group By list at the right side of the dialog box. If you need to create another grouping within the first grouping, Note that subgroupings appear indented below the previous grouping above them. If you wish to remove a field by which you're grouping in the Group By list, click on its name to select it, and then just click the single left pointing arrow to send the field back to the list of available fields at the left side of the dialog box. If you added the fields by which you wanted to create the groupings, in the incorrect order in the Group By list at the right side of the dialog box, you can easily rearrange the order of the fields listed by just clicking on the name of the field in the Group By list and then clicking the small up and down arrows in the upper right corner of the dialog box to change the order of the grouped fields. You can also set the properties of the data fields in the Group Expert dialog box. Just click on the field for which you want to set grouping options in the Group By list, and then click the Options button at the bottom of the list. That will launch the Change Group Options dialog box. And there are two tabs here which you can use to set the group properties, the Common tab and the Options tab. If you click on the Common tab, you'll be presented with the name of the field by which the groupings will be created, displayed in a drop-down box. Below that, you have another drop-down that displays the four different options that you have for sorting data. You can select to sort the groups in either ascending order, which is A to Z or 1 to 10, descending order, which is Z to A or 10 to 1. You can select to leave the records sorted in their original order, which will exempt the groups from any artificial sorting. If you select the in specified order option, you will add and display the Specified Order tab. And here you can create a specified order by which to sort the groups that is neither ascending nor descending. On the Specified Order tab, you can create the custom sort order to be used for the group. You can use the Named Group drop-down to choose a value from the field by which you wish to sort, if the field contains a value by which you wish to create the groupings. You can select multiple fields from this drop-down if needed. You can change the sort order of the values in this list by first clicking on the value whose position in the list you wish to change and then clicking the small black up and down arrows to the right of the list to change their position within the list of values. So for example, if you wanted to create a sort order that indicated the hierarchy within a department, for example. 
you can remove a field value you've added to the list by simply selecting the value to remove and then clicking the delete button below the list. You can add a new value by which to sort the displayed results by simply clicking the new button below the list of values. This will then launch the define named group dialog box. Here you can type a name for one of the values in your group into the group name text box up at the top. You can then specify a filtering criteria by which items would be placed into the named group that you created. And when you're finished creating your group, you could click OK to add the group to the list in the specified order tab. If you select a range of records, which you will then reference as a single named group in the specified order tab, then you should indicate what you will do with the rest of the non-selected records on the Others tab. When you click on the Others tab, you can set your desired option. You can discard all others, put all others together with the name and then specify the name in the text box provided, or leave them in their own groups. Once you've set your options, back on the Common tab, it is worth noting that if you have a date field selected for the grouping, you would see a, actually another drop-down appear under the listing of this section will be printed, and you could choose the date grouping that you would like to use for the selected field. Also, if you have a logical or Boolean value selected for the grouping, you would see a drop-down that gives you options for creating groups based on logical values. Finally, you can click the Options tab to set other available options for the grouped field. Normally, when you create field groupings and reports, you'll see a new group tree pane that will appear at the left of the report that you can use to jump to the various sections of the report. You'll also typically have a group header and a group footer where you can see the names of the groups in your report. By default, the group name fields have the same values as the group field but you can check the Customize Group Name Field checkbox to specify the group name field as either another database field or a group name formula that returns some sort of text value that can then be used as the group name field within the report. For example, you could group by the Employee ID field, but instead choose to display the employee name for the group instead. Now to select a database field, you would just choose from the existing field to choose a formula, you would say use a formula and then select the formula option. Note that you can't choose to customize the group name at all for fields that are sorted in a specified order. So you would actually have to choose a sending order or descending order in order to customize the group name. Also, you can check the Keep Group Together checkbox to try and keep the groups that are created from breaking across multiple pages if possible. And you can also check the Repeat Group Header on each page to allow groups that do break across multiple pages to repeat the group header information on each page. Now, once you've set any options for the selected field, you would then just click OK in the Change Group Options dialog box to return to the Group Expert dialog box. Then you would click the OK button in the Group Expert dialog box to apply the selected groupings to the report. Notice that when you create groupings within a report, Crystal Reports will then create a group header and a group footer for each field by which you grouped both above and below the Details section in the Design view of the report. If you've added multiple fields by which you're grouping, then you'll also see multiple group headers and footers labeled group header number one, group header number two, and so on and so forth. Also, Crystal Reports will add the group name, if you specified it when you're setting the options, into the group header section. Remember that data placed into the group header section will repeat at the top of each unique value within the grouping created. Data placed into the group footer will repeat at the end of each unique value within each group. Here you can see the group tree at the left in the preview, which you can use to jump through the different groups that you've created. 
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.